A little bit about my background. I am uh, Dr. Tony Barber, and I do a lot of different things. Uh, of course, I work here at the um, University of Maryland, right? Um, I'm a lecturer. I teach a couple of classes. During in the fall, I teach a system engineering course. Um, last semester, I taught a software design and implementation course. As I mentioned, I did teach a course in, in design of experiment. My quality course, I've taught that I'm, you know, on both sides of system engineering and the, the MAGE program as well. I own a company. Um, I started my company some years ago and kept it going. More advisory services type stuff that I do, and I advise at a couple of companies such as um, ADS um, and Newcore Vision. Um, I also own another company called Infosymmetry, and I have a nonprofit. But my core day-to-day, -day, where I spend all of my time, where I provide all of my energy, is I work for the U.S. Army Office of the Chief Information Officer. And in that uh, capacity, I have a lot of different roles, principal technical advisor, system branch chief, computer engineer. I, I work for the architecture division for the CIO. So I do a lot of things around architecture, from enterprise to IT architecture, um, policy work, all the above. So um, it sort of, you know, devs into my stuff in system engineering and model-based system engineering. But in some cases, I'm doing fiduciary responsibilities around enterprise architecture. Um, so again, I'm, I, I do a lot of things. I'm, I'm almost everywhere. You know, it's my previous work. I work for most of the large companies in the area. Um, so it's not much I haven't seen. This is not a, a, a overtly difficult class, um, but it, it, you will walk away um, having a better appreciation of quality. And in some cases, I've had students that have sat for um, quality um, certifications like um, Six Sigma Green Belt or Black Belt, and they have passed based on the discussion points we've had in class. So the course overview, what you're expecting to get out of this, uh, of course, that foundational knowledge and quality. Uh, we're going to um, look at it through the lens of, of, of system and process management. You know, we are in engineering, so I want to make sure I'm bringing a lot of technical concepts as we talk about this. But um, what you'll learn over, over the, the next uh, couple of weeks or so um, is that a lot of the foundation around uh, quality uh, Total quality management is organizational based, process based. Um, you'll see a lot of stuff around lean engineering, lean, lean, um, lean management. Um, that that's bringing in some of the um, the typical um, areas around manufacturing stuff like that. So we're gonna merge the two conversations. We're gonna um, shift very frequently between business processes and technical solutions and manufacturing to give you sort of a well-rounded view of what we're going to discuss in quality. Uh, we'll talk about some of the, the certification and um, different um, uh, organizations that are out there like ISO, um, uh, CMMI, things like that. Um, of course, the quality processes um, and then core techniques. Um, by the time you get out of this class, you'll at least know um, how to analyze a lot of the issues that are out there and and get a better understanding of how to how to identify problems and, and really think through what the solution should be to fix those problems. You're going to implement Six Sigma and Lean Engineering disciplines. Um, we're going to do a little bit of statistical analysis and process control. So you'll learn um, some very key techniques and quality um, data collection. Extremely important. Everything here is based on the collection of data, the observations, the things that you see, um, and, and then how do you fix those areas? And we'll get into that in a probably in a couple of weeks or next week or so as well as we start the, the make process. And we'll talk about that in the last lecture. Um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about design of experiments, hypothesis testing, and ANOVA. Not a whole lot. I don't want to turn this into a statistics class. But there are statistical piece, um, areas that you look at from quality. So I at least got to foundationalize you in some of those areas. Um, I can talk probably um, all day about design experiment. I did teach a class um, in DOE a couple of years uh, back. Um, pretty interesting, um, uh, but the the topic of DOE um, is not a very robust topic. I mean, once you learn a technique, you learn a technique. So it, it doesn't, you know, wouldn't take. Uh, even though I taught the class for 16 weeks, it doesn't really take 16 weeks to to understand how to do design of experiments. There's a lot that's underneath it as well, um, but there's a lot of statistics that you have to learn in order to be successful in, in all of these different techniques as we move through.